Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, okay, we'd, I think we'll just move over. We'll just wait a few seconds for everybody yes, to come I in. Yes, I haven't shared the link. I haven't shared the link okay. either. So, so yes, so um, thank you for joining us. Um, we had a bit of a technical issue. Um, I thought I was being clever by scheduling the live on the desktop, but it doesn't actually pick up on the phone. So lesson learned, uh, but we'll be sharing the link for this live stream on the people that's waiting on the other channel. Hi, thank you for joining us and moving along. Uh, yes, so we had some technical issues, so apologies for the wait. Hello, Krista. Krista is our moderator, so, so say hi to Krista as well. Um, we are Barry and Jay from the UK, independent stamping up demonstrators. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. Uh, we do live stream twice a week, so it's worth subscribing to our channel if you would love to see more card making and paper craft inspiration using Stampin' Up! products. So, a couple of things first. I know that a few of you already um, started commenting, but if you comment during the live, you'll be put into the random draw at the end of the live stream. As well as if you are watching the replay, we'll put you into the random draw on our next live stream. It is worth noting that you do need to log in to your Google account onto YouTube to be able to see the live chat as well as pop a comment uh, below. So yes, so this evening um, we are using, or Barry is, uh, so Barry will be demonstrating for you this evening uh, a project that he posted uh, for the Cashly Crafting blog hop on Friday which you may have seen, if not, why not? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Go to our blog, but you'll see it this evening. Uh, so it's a lovely illuminated uh, handmade Christmas card using still scenes. Uh, it's a fancy fold, uh, so it does um, kind of like you make it up and then you put yes. in a battery operated tea light uh, inside uh, to illuminate the lovely still scenes mm -hmm. and then um, he'll also create a slim line or DL for um, for UK and um, other worldwide metric measurements uh, we yeah our DL size card is long and slim uh, and he'll be doing some sponging on that I will Ooh, I've seen a prototype it's amazing yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. That's Sorry. what I normally do. I'm not very, I'm, yeah, I'm just not, Joseph's going to talk, should I share it everywhere, the link? Yeah, so, that's fine. Just bear with me, because of our technical issues, I'm now um, just uh, yes. running behind, because all of the, all of the links I shared uh, um, well, should be are now going to be um, not working. Yeah. So, Joseph's just going to fill for a moment. Okay, well, I don't actually have, oh, we were still kind of like, Preparing for it. Hi Sue, I can't see any other comments because <laughs> I can't see it the screens. <laughs> so yes, so um, for last week's, um, no, Wednesday's live stream as well, we created, what did we create on Wednesday? Oh, the, um, the sponge, um, what do you call it? The panel scene building with snow front. So if you haven't seen that as well, check out our, our channel and we'll be giving out uh, we'll be doing the random draw in a minute for the card that I created with the two deers um, and a bit of sponging. Um, coming up next week, uh, there will be a 24-hour sale uh, with Stampin' Up! products on our online Ooh. shop. So it's nearly all of the products in the 2020 to 2021 annual catalog. And it, I mean nearly all. Is it, I, is it they released a... There's an excluded list and... All I can see is there's 74 items that's not included. Um, the So it was easier for them to add an exclusion list than it yeah, was to actually add I a... was I was just like, really? <laughs> what can I have? What can I have? So yes, yeah, so make your list um, or start doing your order. <laughs> and don't forget uh, to use our current host code, um, which I don't know what it is, but uh, if you put it on on any order, you'll get a handmade thank you card from us. If you order more than 50 pounds uh, from our online shop using the same host code, uh, you'll get a free iridescent pearl, a pack of free iridescent pearls from us next month, as well as the free stamping glum tutorial, uh, which is exclusive for our customers. Um, it will be available 
uh, as well for sale next month if you can't shop with us but if you would love to um, support our channel you can do so by liking the video it's free uh, subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so and sharing the videos that you enjoy uh, to share uh, inspiration to your friends and family uh, you could also uh, if you're feeling a lot uh, <laughs> I'm just like, what else can I say? Um, if, yeah, if you are feeling a lot generous, uh, you could also donate to our channel using our donate button. Uh, and yes, I don't even have the card, any cards to show you at the um, moment. What about the um, Christmas one <laughs> from the Joy to the World, which we did on our ah, live yes. the other day? Well um, done. Sorry, I'm just going through, and because of our technical issues, I'm just going through and just sorting a few other things, which is why Jay's... Um, Jay's filling at the moment. <laughs> so yes, um, you may or may not know, but we stopped doing Facebook Lives uh, beginning of the year. But we thought we'd start reintroducing Facebook Lives as well to um, share more ideas and kind of like more simple stamping, I would say. And Barry, uh, our first one again was uh, in the Crafty Stampers group. So if you're not part of the group yet, do... Um, asked to be invited or what's it called <laughs> thank you krista yes thank um, you. sorry what was um uh yeah do check out uh crafty stampers group on facebook and um ask to join in and we'll uh approve you uh and this is what barry created during his facebook live which is the joy to the world paper pumpkin um i believe these ones have been available in um the US and Canada? Since October, yeah. Since October, but it's only uh, arrived in uh, the rest of the world for November. But uh, it's got lovely yeah. die cut gold elements, as well as it comes with stamps, uh, your card stamp. bases, yeah. embellishments, uh, even adhesive. You have stamping uh, dimensionals, A mini spots, glue dots. Ooh, glue. And just sorry, jade. just jade. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so on Friday afternoons, at the moment, whilst we are furloughed, we will be. I'm going to be coming to you around about one o'clock in the afternoon. Once we are back to work, I will be doing it in the afternoon on Fridays, but it will probably be a little bit later. Um, so yes, yeah, so just watch the space. So it's a Friday afternoon. We will be trying to do something on a regular basis for you. And next Friday, I'm going to be working with a Joy to the World kit again, but I'm going to be working with alternatives. Ooh. So yeah, so you, this it's is what lovely. you can do. Yeah. Yeah. So good. So, it, but it, it's great for any type of crafters. You can. It's the layout's already pre-designed um, for you, so you can just craft, uh, and you don't have to think about um, designing it because it's designed but if you want to um, step up a bit step it up a little bit more and uh, change it up you can do so uh, because it does leave you with a bit more of the twine uh, and some more of the gold sentiments but obviously in a different language but why not uh, change it up uh, <laughs> and also uh, the stamps uh, the stamps and the um, stamping ink spot as well yeah. which is amazing so, so what card are we giving away tonight? The card tonight? we are giving away tonight. I did get it ready. Just a little thing. We're going to be using these tonight. Ooh. Look, I've gone really dirty already. <laughs> My gentle madness. Oh, no, just see <laughs> So that's what we're going to be giving away so right now. So we're going to do the random draw now that Barry is ready. <laughs> I've been ready all evening. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you don't want to see our, our well, I was going to say you don't want to see our faces, but hey, oh, you're seeing them all night long, aren't you? <laughs> um, so we are going to be the lucky winner of this is going to be... Good luck, everyone. Yeah, that's fine. Is... Uh, Krobu. and I've forgotten what... Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, I've forgotten what, the, what, the, what the, um, your first name is, um, but Krobu, please message us at Barry and Jay. Um... Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Oh, it's, it's the at in the beginning that throws you, doesn't it? Because I, I do that as well. I'll be like, at Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. <laughs> yes, so, so, yes, congratulations, Grovu. Uh, so, do email us and let us know if you'd love to receive this card and we'll get that on the post. Uh, I did post three winners on our YouTube community uh, page. Uh, three winners that uh, recently that haven't 
messaged us or emailed us so we don't know if you'd want the cards that we made and you've won but um let us know uh so at yes. least we even if you've won previously we still need you to um to message us for every every card you've won so it's just a way that we just um we know that you want it yeah okay cool so good all right so we've um with our technical issues we've filled for 10 minutes so let's um let's crack on now and um and do some crafting. Yay! Good. Yay, you're Excellent. in the group. Craft, please. Oh. It's going to be one of those nights tonight. I can just feel it. So, as mentioned, <coughs> I'm, going to I'm going to make two cards for you this evening. Um, well, I thought I was going to make two cards. So we, we will see. Um, because of timing now. Yes, we will. Let's bring in that light and just... Turn my light down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to be making this card right here. Now, this is actually inspired by a swap which we got at on stage um, last year, I think it was actually in, in Dortmund, in Germany. Um, unfortunately, I can't give the lady credit who gave me the idea because she didn't actually put her name on the back of the card. So I don't know who to credit for this idea, but. I kept it, I've, I, I keep my cards which are really inspire me um, from swaps and then I refer to it and think so right, I need some ideas. And this has been one which I've been meaning to do for a long time. Um, and it's lovely. And it's an easel card, so there is pictures of it on our website. It's an easel card and it goes like this. And Jay, could you pass me over a tea light please? They are on the top, in front of the frame at the top there in that um in that basket that's where they're all hiding <laughs> and what it's designed to do you get one of these electronic tea lights i'm going to emphasize electronic tea lights turn the light off that sits inside and the idea is that you will have a lovely illumination behind this okay so that's what I'm going to show you how to make now let's turn that light back on okay it's a little bit difficult but there is some pictures of it on our website and um, with it illuminated but even just on its own without it being illuminated I think it is really really pretty and um, it's lovely so that's what I'm going to show you how to make now and we're going to do some sponging as you can see with these lovely new blender brushes okay so, and we're going to do that afterwards, and it's it's a bit of a wow card afterwards, so um, we might be in for a bit of a long video tonight, we'll see, but let's see how this goes. So yes, you, you will need, I'm all over the place, I'm in the right pickle. <laughs> Even my notes have gone missing, which are meant to be on the back of the card. All of the measurements, there it is there. See, I'm too, I was too organised this evening. Everything was all ready. And Jay was too organised as well this evening. Was like, everything oh, was ready. I'll use Why the is computer. It? When, everything, when you're ready, everything goes wrong. It's typical, isn't it? We just need to go back to being our last minute dot com and um, <laughs> just not do anything until around about 10 minutes before the thing and everything will work smoothly. Yes. <laughs> okay, so to make this um, easel card, what you need to do is you need to take... Oh, I've used some very vanilla thick cardstock and we need to cut this down to in half at 10 centimeters so this is with the short edge along the top so you would end up with a long piece of card so if this was an A4 I would have put it in like this and cut it at 10 so you'll be able to get two cards out of your bit of cardstock and I am then going to then cut this at 29 and a half centimeters And it, all it is really is just to take a fraction off. Obviously now this isn't really going to work for, um, these measurements won't work for you in America, I don't think, because... Theirs is 11. 11. So... Have you not, um, done one? I haven't done one, no. This is for, this, so this is for 11 and it's going to be just over 11 and a half. So it's 11 and... Okay, I'll see if I can um, do something. 
so it's about six eight. But obviously for European sizes, this will work for you perfectly. But Jay will try and do the conversion rate if he can for you. And what we need to do is we need to score this at 10 centimeters. And at 20 centimeters. Oh, or you do what I've just gone and done, and Jay's gonna have to go and get me another bit of cardstock. <laughs> See, I told you it's gonna. Or you use the blade by mistake instead of the um, instead of score it, and you actually cut your bit of cardstock in half. So let's do this again. So, 10 centimeters. Luckily, we can still use that bit of paper for scraps. It's not an issue. Who else has done that before? Used your blade instead of... Right, blade down at the bottom. I want to do this at 10 centimetres and at 20 centimetres. Can you just tell me the card base again? It's 10 centimetres by 29 and a half. Scored at 10 and 20. Thanks. Okay. So this is what you are left with right now. Really, really simple. We're going to take some designer series paper and we are going to cut this at nine and a half centimetres by nine and a half centimetres. And then we're using the brightly gleaming designer series paper here as well. And this is one which was left from last year, but they carried it over to this year and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really lovely. So nine and a half by nine and a half. And that will then be a perfect fit for one of these panels right here. We will also need some vellum. Okay, so with this vellum, I am going to need some, um, I'm going to need my stays on. I'm going to need a cleaner as well, please, Jay, a scrub. I thought you were ready. I thought I was ready as well. It really has got, it's really not going well tonight at all. And can I also have a scrub just yeah, to clean this one off as well? Hello, Margot from Germany. Thank you for joining us. Um, yes, um, I, yeah, we should really put some, I don't normally do it, I think it's just because I'm a bit flustered this evening, because it didn't, it, it didn't quite go to plan at the beginning of the night. So I'm using stays on because I'm going to be stamping on vellum. Now you could use memento, but obviously you will need it to give it a little bit more time to dry or heat set it, um, with your, um, heat tool, but I'm going to be using the stays on. Now, one of the issues I'm gonna have with the stays on though is I am gonna be using alcohol markers to color this in, but I'm just gonna be very, very gentle with it. But you don't, if you're gonna be using alcohol markers to color, you will need to make sure that you, Can you probably- color at the back? I could probably color at the back as well, um, would work. So I'm just using my stays on cleaner just to take off this, um, liquid here because obviously the stays on is a, a permanent one it will stain it if you leave it on there for too long so you do need the special stays on cleaner especially with the photopolymer stamp sets um, it will really really stain on your photopolymer not so much any red rubber but you do need to make sure you clean it so I've used this lovely gorgeous house from the still scenes stamp sets and what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of colouring. So I'm going to do what Jay said actually. I'm going to colour from the back and see what happens. So I'm going to use some red and I am going to use... Actually, I'm going to use the cinnamon cider. And I'm going to use some Just Jade. Just Jade. It's got to be said, hasn't it? And we are going to turn this over. And we'll see what this looks like. And we're going to colour from behind so it doesn't matter that we've used stays on for this. So I'm just going to see what it looks like. If it works, if it looks all right, then perfect. 
Yeah, you can still see that through. That's absolutely fine. It's just not as vibrant as it would be um, for the other one. So I'm just going to bring this in so you can you can see this a little bit closer. And I'm taking the um, the dark. And the dark is going to be going on the outside. So where these shadows would be the darker. Like that. And on this one here. So no special colouring on this. It's just going to be block colouring. And then I'm going to be using the lighter one. For this part here. Okay, so then when we turn it over, we can see that we've got some colouring there. So it doesn't matter that we have used uh, the alcohol ink. Going to use the. Actually, I'll tell a lie, I said just jade. I have got. Uh, it's shaded spruce, sorry, not just jade. Um, and I'm going to do this on the house, on the tree. It's kind of like, like they are snow-tipped trees. So you're just going in between with some green. And the rest of it is just going to be left white. So you can um, see that. And then what I can do is I'm just going to go over these areas a little bit more just to put another layer of ink and darken it down a little bit. So how's everyone's day been? Weekend? Hope you had a lovely one. So that's that. And if you have got it, it's not really going to show very much, but we will... I've got myself a yellow, so I've got myself one of the darkest yellows which we've got, which is a Mango Melody. And we're just going to do this, and we're just going to colour in the windows. It's probably not going to really make much of a difference on the vellum. But if it does, at least it's going to make sure it looks like, make it nice and warm and homely and like somebody's in. So there you go. That's my colouring done. It's a really, really simple. And like that, so it works absolutely fine. We will now do some cutting. And I'm going to use these circle dies. So the circle shapes. So these are from the layering, layering shapes. So I'm just going to bring the camera back up a little bit now. That's it. And we are going to, just need to make sure I do this in the right one. Die cut this out, so I need to do this sucky, please, Joe. And I'm just gonna die cut this out here, using the circle. And the only reason, I could cut it into a square if I wanted to, it's not an issue, um, but I think it just makes it look, because it is gonna be visible from the inside of the cards. So if I use a circle, then at least it's going to look tidy on the inside. There's nothing worse than having the inside looking messy. So I'm just going to use the circle just to tidy this up. I'm going to try and make sure that I did one of the notes I thought on this. I'm going to bring it so that the, the house is a little bit more to the bottom. Like that. And then we will then die cut this out. You're not too late, Kerry. We were a bit late as well today because we had a few technical issues. So don't worry, I've not you've not you've only, I'm still only on the first card, so that's fine. And then that's that part. So we will be bringing the Suki in again very soon. And we've actually been joined by Suki tonight. She's sat by the side of me. Which is um, which is a first. She doesn't normally join us. 
And that there is going to be going... You keep calling her name. She's bound to Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that is going to go in the middle right here. But we now need to create an aperture. So, how did I do this? I thought, I thought so, yeah, this is easy. I... I want to cut my circle out of this one here first. So again, I'm using the larger circle on this. So I'm going to bring the sookie in again. And I'm going to cut myself a circle out of this one. So I'm just going to position it in the centre. So this is how you can make yourself some apertures. Position it in the centre. And then we will then die cut. So that's there. It's going to go in here. All right. So what we can do is I can stick this down now. Let me just make sure I'm going to get this correct. So I can pop that in like that. No, actually, I'm not going to stick it down. Can I just have, so I've got them here, that's fine. No, I can completely blank how I did this now. So I did it like that. And then I know I put a, um, a glue dot on this. I think, yeah, you can stick it down the outer bit and then die cut the bit inside bit. Yeah, because you, you, I'm trying to make it really complicated. You did it the other way around the I did. other day, where you stuck it, um, where you stuck it down yeah. temporarily, and then you die cut it, and then die cut the other one. Yeah, but I'm making I'm making it more complicated than I really need it to be, yeah, because I did it the other day. So all I'm doing is I've die cut the die cut this first. I think because the other day I didn't stick this down, I I cut this circle out of the whisper whites. Um, out of the whisper, the very vanilla thick first, and it didn't work. So you need to do it this way, and have that positioned like that. But, and that's the one, because then that way you will always end up with a perfect circle. And then we can then run it through the machine again, and then we can then die cut the second one out right here. That's it. And then we will then position that's the next circle in like so. And then that there is then going to go on top. And that there fits perfectly. And then that pops out, leaving us with a nice perfect layering circle on the inside. So you can, if you wanted to, you've got now a perfect one, which you can now do another card with this. So you could also do, do all sorts. Okay, so that there is all done. What we now need to do is this is going to go on on the inside. So I'm going to do some folding first and burnishing. And the reason we made it just a little bit smaller, like 20, like the last panel is the nine and a half. So what, let me just make sure you're aware of this one. The nine and a half panel, obviously, if you did the cut the, the designer series paper to nine and a half by nine and a half, it wouldn't fit on this one anyway. It would be over the score line. So you know you've got it stuck on the wrong one. But the nine and a half, the reason for that is so that it doesn't interfere with the folding so when you, you can actually fold it flat because on one of my prototypes I did it exactly the same and it didn't it doesn't fold nicely and um, it buckles so it's just you just need to take a little bit off that bottom panel so that it then folds like that so now we can stick this in so now we know what way round our card is going to be going 
So we need to make sure that we stick it with the house that way. So I'm gonna turn it round and so the house is now facing me. So you just need to be very, very careful because I haven't given myself much play with this. So it's a problem when doing it with the circles, you don't give yourself much room. If I had a square, I could then, I'd have more play room on this. So but all you need to do is some tiny, tiny bits of glue just around the edges. like this okay we will pick this up again and we will then and we may get a little bit of seepage but it will dry clear so it's absolutely fine and then we can then position that so that it's an even edge around everything and then stick that down And that sticks quite quite quickly as well. I need to manipulate it a little bit just to get that house down to the bottom a little bit. I can do. There we go. And that's why I love wet glue. You do have a little bit of manipulation room. And that's the first part. That's it nearly completed already, which is why I've got two cards sorted for you. I've got the second one as well. So I'm going to take myself a bit of scrap paper. I'm gonna cut myself a piece here, which is measuring one inch, which is two and a half centimeters. Oh, scrap card. Or a bit of, uh, yeah, so, so for the sentiment, I'm gonna then cut this, it's already at 10 as well. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the designer series paper, which needs to also be 10. And I'm gonna take this to, what did I cut this one to? In centimeters is going to be 4.2 centimeters, which is 4.2, which is yeah, by 10. Okay, and that's gonna give me, I'm gonna completely lally, do lally. <laughs> Two and a half. I need my ruler, please, Jay. You don't have one, do you? I don't know where it is here. That's fine. I just need to just check something. Three point two, not four point two. <laughs> take it back and then that's going to give me a nice mat and layer there. so it's 10 by 3.2 and then all we're going to do on this one here is we are going to do some stamping Can I have a block, please, Jay, for this um, sentiment here? Thank you. And then we're going to use the season's greetings, and we're going to stamp this in memento. So Jay's just doing a conversion rate for you, I think, into. Um, into inches, which is why he's asking me the questions, so that's fine. And we're going to centralise this in this little panel here. And there we go. Just like that. That can now get stuck onto this one here, onto that bit of designer series paper. And then we will then use some dimensionals to raise this up and then this will act as the stopper for you. Will act as your stopper. So turn that one over. Stick 
some dimensionals all over this. So about six should do the job. There we go. So stay tuned, we do have another card coming up after this using the lovely blender brushes. Blending brushes. I knew Joe was going to correct me. I could see him hovering around going stuff. He's going to correct I'm me. I'm looking for the packaging again. And then that there is going to go on just down here, just like that. And that there is our first card finished. So as you said, we can put a little tea light behind here. And then that then just adds a nice glow to our scene and again obviously the once you've got the tea light behind it obviously the coloring doesn't show up too much it's but it, you can see that there is some kind of shading there but then once you've um during the daytime you can see that it's colored okay so that is card number one and now we're going to move on to card number two using da -da -da, the brushes um and that's that. So we will be giving away a card this evening, so stay tuned. So yes, let me just reset, and um, we're going to do something wow, hopefully. I think it's wow. I know Jay's reaction was, wow, that's really nice, when he saw my prototype, and which is, uh, which is an honour when he says that. Yeah, I didn't think. He doesn't normally <laughs> say that much about my cards. <laughs> Not, I don't normally get that reaction. It's not. It's not. It's normally he looks at it for a long time, and you think, okay, so it's, it's taken too long to look at it. Something's wrong with it, or he would do something different. When he gives me an instant it response, I know he really likes it, <laughs> which he gave me an instant response tonight. So, which is very good. So yes, we are making a slimline card or a DL size card here. So what I have got is I have got myself um, too much clutter on my desk. Bear with me one moment. I can't work like this. Can't do it. Get rid of that. I will need some scrap paper. I don't need those anymore. That's fine. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. That can go. That's the one. Okay, so we have got a piece of Whisper White Thick here measuring 21 centimetres by 19.8 centimetres. And you want to then score this at 9.9 .9 centimetres. That's going to create our card base. I have used some of the red and gold foil. I just love this foil. We haven't used it en enough this year, and so it's coming out. I would, I should really gut this. Maybe I will get Jay to gut this um, whilst I'm doing my sponging, um, because I know he'll probably have a, have a little bit of a fit once he sees me using the, all of this. Just bearing in mind, it's going to get mostly covered, and that's all you're going to see of it. So... Um, I will get Jay to go. Shaking my head. He is shaking his head at disgust. But at least I, at least I stopped myself. Um, <laughs> at least I didn't stick it down. But I figured I'm going to get him to work because he's because he's, he's not busy enough tonight. I don't think. Um, so you've got a bit of foil, which is measuring eight and a half by nineteen and a half, and I got a bit of Whisper White, measuring eight point two by nineteen point two. So 8.2 by 19.2. So that there is going to give me a nice border. And then when I get stuck onto my DL card like that, it's going to look lovely. Is the plan. So I'm going to pass that foil over to Jay. And he's going to, when he's got a second, he's going to cut, he's going to cut, cut that out for me. You would also need a bit of scrap paper. And what I'm going to do is I've already got myself some, some waves. But I'm going to create, if you haven't got some, grab yourself some snips 
And all you want to do is you want to make yourself some heels. So we're just going to... Can I leave you a one centimetre border? You can leave me, yeah, a one centimetre or maybe just a little bit more on that if you can. Um, so I'm just going to create some mounds like this. And that there is then going to create my snowy hills. Do you want to take that so you can see how much I've actually got to play with? Yep. Good. All right. So, blush, blush, blushes, brushes. I am going to be using, get that to one side. I also need to bring in some scrap paper on this one so I don't dirty our table. Our lovely wooden table. And the colours I'm going to be using is Magenta Madness, Just Jade and Misty Moonlight. So, we will start off with Magenta Madness first. And I'm going to grab my brush. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pick up some of this. I'm going to start off the page just to take some of this excess off. So these brushes aren't available yet. They will be available from December if you are a demonstrator. So if you're not a demonstrator and would like to get your hands on them, you can contact us and we'll tell you how, because um, you can by signing up. Um, they are available for general release on the 5th of January, I believe. So... Sorry? Is it fourth or fifth? I want to say fifth on the catalogue. See whether the fourth or the fifth. And then I'm just going to create some. Is anyone know? So I'm just going to create. So I'm kind of, I'm going to open my plant. Well, we can just see how this goes out. See what happens. I just want to darken this down. I want a little bit down. A little bit down here. So I'm just loving these brushes. I think they are gorgeous. That. I'm going to take my Just Jade. So who can tell? Any ideas what I'm going to be creating tonight? Do you know? I'm going to be using the Just Jade. Okay. And I'm going to mix that in here. Okay, so that's enough there. We will then take our Misty Moonlight. Pick those up. And we're then gonna come in. And sponge around. My tip is always to start off the page, um, or at least dab it off to take some of the some of the excess off. And how, how are you holding it? Why are you holding it like that? Um, I'm holding it like this. Just so you can you can do it if you want to. If you want less pressure, you can hold it like that. I tend to like prefer it holding it like that, so I've got a bit more control on my head, so I can um, so I can. Just, I just feel like I've got a little bit more control on it. So 
I hold it and then my finger here. Because it's quite flexible. It's a very flexible brush. So you just need to... You just need to just control it a little bit. So I'm going to bring my heels in here now. So I'm just, I'm going to position that like that there. Because I now want to... that down here because I want lovely white heels, snowy heels. So you're just going to cover up over some of this. Right, and then the blue and the magenta madness works lovely with each other. You then end up with a purpley colour. So I think it's just gorgeous. I'm still adding names. So if we want to, we can also intensify some of this. So we can come back in with the, make sure that you... Um, put the right sponge in with the right colour. So I'm just gonna go over like that now. I'm not, I'm just using this so I don't get any inky fingers or put my um, greasy mitts on anything at all. Like that, and then we'll just take the magenta madness. And we will just intensify some of this. So if I need to, I can then pop some of that up the top there. That's fine. I don't know, Jay. So I'm just going to bring in... Uh, Misty Moonlight again. <coughs> just need to just darken this down a little bit up the top here. I will be using some black in a moment. So, does that look Northern Lighty? Northern Lighty. Very technical terms here. So there's another word for your dictionary there, Crystal. Northern Lighty. I'm trying to get rid of some of the white. It feels like there's a little bit of white, too much white in between. So I'm just, I want to darken those down a little bit. So you can see we've got this lovely crisp line down the bottom down here, which is lovely. So, I think that for the moment, I think is fine. I'm going to take myself a sponge because we've only got three of the brushes at the moment. I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to take in the, the memento. Sorry about the wobbling. It didn't wobble when you were brushing. Did it not? I, I don't think so. And then I'm just going to go into circular motion and then I'm just going to just darken this down a little bit at the top here. Obviously be careful not to interfere now with your, um, with your mask, which you've done. Otherwise you'll end up with um, hill lines on the top. Nice and dark there. Okay. I've still got a few imperfections around, which I'm not happy. Now, that's not the brush's fault. That's user error. That is because I went directly onto it before taking it off the excess. So if you do end up with these blemishes, 
it's more like it's user error than it's not it's not the tool so just um if you are getting those blemishes then just go make sure you dab it off first before you do anything okay but i'm not too worried about those blemishes because i'm going to be doing some a little bit of splatting later on which in my opinion then just ties everything together so it's one of those things work with it you may be looking at yourself it looks ugly it looks really really horrible i've got these marks it doesn't don't worry about it yet finish it through see it through till the end gonna take myself um the house so this is jay's gonna come in and do his second bit of home homework we will post the measurements up at another time. We don't necessarily need to put the measurements up just now for the inches. That's fine. I'll do it, Jay. Don't worry. It's giving me a funny look here. So I'm going to stamp this here and I'm going to going to fussy cut this out. So, but I'm not going to fussy cut the whole thing out. So don't worry about that. I can do that. That's fine. Joe, you're... Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then take this one right here and I'm going to stamp this. On my heels so I'm gonna bring my heel back in here because I don't want it to I don't want the line to the line art to go too much onto the white so if you put your mask back in then we can then position this here in the center and then stamp down okay and then we can then take that mask away and then you can then see that, that lovely house is now sitting on that hill. And those little bits which are here haven't don't look odd. It now looks like it's now sitting, sitting in a nice little hill. So whilst Jay's cutting that part out for me, what I can do is I can then just do a little bit of colouring on this. So I'm going to grab myself my blends again. And I'm going to grab myself some of the green. And I'm also going to take myself the white chalk marker. Right here. So I'm going to, I've got my darkest green I've got. And I'm just going to just colour in again. Those there. You're right there. But you want that boulder cut out? Just leave the boulder in, but just kind of like cut it. Yeah. If you have a little look at my prototype okay, over there. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Oops. So then we're just going to then colour in. Because it's a night sky anyway, it's... It doesn't matter, it just it just highlights a little bit that there is something there. But this is where the chalk marker comes in. So we're gonna take the white chalk marker and we're just gonna then color in. Thank you, Jay. And we'll grab the one which has actually got some bits on it. And then we're actually then just gonna color in. Now to take away that blue to then actually make it look like it is actually snow rather than being blue. We may just need to go over this a little bit because as it dries, it kind of like takes on the background color a little bit, but at least it's just highlighted it and kind of like bleached it out a little bit so that you can actually see it. And if I just do that for For the grounds as well it just colors it in it just takes away some of that some of that blue so 
Let's pop this to one side. Jay's now kindly cut myself, cut me out my house. So with the blends, we will take some cinnamon cider. I will also take my red. So I've got myself my real red, dark real red, and we will have a lovely red door. I like red doors. Christy, you asked me the other week what colour the door should be. Colour it red. And I'm going to use the light like I did for the vellum at the beginning. So the light one is going to go on to these bits here. Like that. And then we use the dark one, which is then going to be on the ends, on the gable ends. Because they're kind of more in the, what I would say, they're in the, in the shadows. Which is why those hat, the, which is why the lines I think are on there as well. Just to give you a little bit of a, a, an emphasis on where the sun and where the shadow would be. I think that's where it's quite handy sometimes when you're looking at that. Like so. We will then use a yellow and we'll make it nice and warm on the inside. And we will then just colour the colour the windows. Thing I just need to do, I just need to colour the chimney. Like that. And then this will then get stuck on that bike there. So that fills that in, like so. Okay, but we're not yet, we're not finished yet. What I'm going to do is you can either take the sentiment now from the still scene stamp set. So a suitable sentiment which will fit in there will be the season's greetings. Can go in down the bottom down here. But I, as I said last time, I really like this Merry Christmas right here from the Kirby Christmas stamp set. So use sentiments which work nicely for you. Okay. And can I have Jay, could I have a um should I colour should I stamp this in a colour or should I stamp this in a in a black? Let me know. I was thinking of stamping it in a red, in a real red to match the door. It's what I was thinking of doing. So, real red. Let's have a little look. Could you pass me over a real red ink pad, Jay? Or just let, just, we'll just let people actually know. Should I colour it in real red? Or let me know a colour you think it should go in. Whilst Jay's doing it, and then Jay will collect all of that together. Whilst we're doing that, whilst you're letting me know what colours you want, I'm going to do some splatting. So, we have got ourselves the frost white paint real red sounds good red misty misty moonlight from susan real red okay we will have a little look so put some stuff to one side which you don't want to get damaged we've got the frosty paint and we're going to pick some up with a brush and then what we're going to do We are now going to add some stars. To our picture. Okay. So. 
you can either let this dry naturally or we can heat set it. So obviously for the purposes of this for speed, I'm gonna use the heat tool and we are gonna heat set this. So. So that's just giving it a little bit of warmth there, okay. So we're just going to manipulate this, because obviously a heat tool will buckle the card if you do it. So I'm just going to just manipulate my card just a little bit, just to... And it's more for those bigger splodges, which we need to need to dry, or at least be, be, be aware of, that we don't splodge those down. So what was the... Um, What was the answer? Do we reckon red? I can see some black coming up, I think, as well. Did we I think red did that win the um did that win it? I don't know, Jay. Is there a, a, an answer for the reds? Did that win? Yeah, it's mostly red. Some couple of misty moonlight and a black. Mostly one, two, three, one, two, three, black, four, black, red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, real red. Okay, looks like real red has won it. Okay, so I'm just checking. I just need to clean this up. Connie said, do it multicolor. <laughs> yeah, you could do it multicolor, Connie. Ooh, cherry cobbler. You're only going ooh because you said cobbler. <laughs> so, it's gonna just check this. So it's been getting pooling. I don't normally get that in there. There we go. I just need to make it's sure. Because the ink pad is too juicy. Yeah, I just need to find the area where it's not. Juicy. Do you want the um, bone folder? Bone folder here. So I'm getting the reason I've done some testing is that you can see on my prototype it is that the, the, I've got a juicy pad, and it's pulling too much in the arm, and I don't like that. So it's because there's a little bit too much ink in here. So I'm just going to move some of this ink out the way. There's a little tip for you. So you can see there, you can see instantly that when we're doing this, we're just moving, we're just pushing some of that ink out to the edge. You will need to also grab yourself a foam fold, uh, a cleaning tool as well. Make sure that you don't go and do that straight away on a... There we go, you can see straight away. Um, make sure you clean your bone folder um, perfectly when you're, and thoroughly when you're doing that, otherwise you will transfer some ink over onto your, your card when you fold it. There we go, that's the one. So it just needs to be, I'm just testing now. That's it. Where I can get away with and And we will then pop that in the centre underneath like that. 
just there. And to finish this up, we will construct and we are done. So let's move that out the way. And we will grab card base. We've got the bit which Jay gutted for me. So we've now gutted our foil. So then we can now use some glue and stick this around. A bit of glue all the way on the outside, not worrying about the middle just yet. Otherwise I'm gonna end up sticking it to my table. And then that's, it's a nice small border. We haven't gone for a big chunky border. We've gone for a small border because I didn't want the border to, to be overpowering. I just need to do that. I'm very conscious that I've got either sticky or inky fingers, and because I want to, I don't want to, I don't want to interfere with anything. So a bit of tissue around. Oh, I've just got to ruin the whole thing because I've just got to done that with my bit of paper down there. How annoying and frustrating is that? Ignore that part down there. I'm going to put my thumb on it over it. <laughs> I'm gonna smudge the bottom. How frustrating is that? Um, never mind. It's fine. I can still work with that, and that can go on like that. That can then sit on here. So this is going to be an original because whoever wins a card will get the one and only smudge. <laughs> it's ah. unique to you. I don't know why you used that tissue. I don't know. Of names, there might be a few names that I have to put in upper That's fine. The list is long. <laughs> the thing filters it out. So we will let me just try something here. There is such a thing called a sand rubber. Mistakes. But all I'm going to do. This is um, obviously this isn't something which we sell, but it's something which is quite handy to have in your stash. Um, for these little mistakes, at least we might be able to minimise it, minimise this error. It's a very. I, it's yeah. It's called a sand eraser. Now, I, I think I remember a conversation about this a lot a little while ago. When we were at school, I don't know whether or not you, you did have these rubbers and you'd have bits on it which you didn't actually know what they were. And I think we used to have this. Oh, mini, come on. And now I know what you actually use it for. It's just, you don't want to be, don't want to be too intense with it because you will, obviously you're taking a bit of a layer of the paper off. See that? You save things. It's how you save it. So I'm. Duffy said, "Don't forget the house." Oh. <laughs> so. Lorraine, Tommy is sleeping. Suki's left the room. <laughs> I've got, I've got a mini on. <laughs> I've got Tommy sleeping by the side of me on the arm of the sofa. I'll bring Mini in when I, when I come back. Okay. So, can you see there what I've done and how I've managed to save that? So, it wouldn't really be... It, only us crafters and know what's gone on here. And I've seen it eager. 
but you can save it. There you go. Look at that. It's virtually gone and it's, you can't see. So if you haven't got one of these in your toolkit, I definitely think you need to, um, you need to get some. I don't know if we've actually got any spares at all, Jay, have we? So, um, I think we have some in We do have some of these for sale, actually. We do, we do, when we brought some, we did actually buy some more. So, um, obviously if you live in the UK and you're interested in those, then you may want to, we may have some for you if you struggle to get hold of it. So we'll just let us know and we'll tell you, we'll, we'll tell you how much they are. And, um, I can't remember off the top of my head at the moment and how we, and the postage of to getting it to you. So that's that. I'll tell you what, today isn't going really well at all because, oh, there it is right there. Oh. I I've lost my house now. To finish this off, we will pop this house on. So the house I think will look perfect on some dimensionals. Grab some mini dimensionals here. Grab your take your pick tool. And we will then just pop a couple on here. Starry, starry night. <laughs> good. Jay started singing. Uh, Not good. Please save me. Um, there you go. Some dimensionals on the back of this here. So this card will be obviously different every time you do it because depending on how you do your sponging will be great. So it's like that technique we did the other week when we did the um, the inking on the vellum. You would probably want to make a couple up. And this is the same thing. Make a couple of these backgrounds out. Get them to cut to size. Get your brushes out. Get sponging. You should take your big tool. What for? Oh, what for taking the backing oh, off? I think my, my video must be... No. So I just need to just push that down a little bit. Just to see when. There you go. And there we have it. Card number two for you. So we have card number one, which was a nice easel card using the still seen stamp set. Suitable for an electronic tea light to go in behind. And then you've got this lovely, a bit of this fancy sponged card right here. So, what do you think? Do you like them? And what one are we going to give away, Jay? The first one. The first the one. one, will be the next one. Okay. All right, okay, all right, yeah, that's it. So the first card we're giving away is this one here, and this card will be given away on Wednesday. So we've got 63 of you watching, and so we'd really need 63, at least 63 comments in the video after this has gone live if you want to win it. So in the, down the bottom, in the comments, if you want to win it. We normally get the same people every week, so somebody regular is probably going to win it, but you've got to be in it to win it. So if you'd like it, get a comment in. But the comments which you put in the live one is for this one right here. So... I've got 53 names. Jay's got 53 names for this card here. So we need at least 53 of you to go in for <laughs> this one right here. So just pop another comment in and afterwards in the comments below. A couple of them might be doubles, but it's That's fine. I'm just adding people. That's fine. Good. Excellent. All right. So thank you very much that we are going to turn the camera around and you can see us. Cool. I've got a mini on. <laughs> oh, this is Minnie. This is Minnie joining us. She loves cuddles. She always meows on her feet. Did you let um, you know that she won? Oh, Krobu, Krobu, yes. Uh, you, Krobu, won you won at the beginning. At the beginning. Um, so email us your details. Yes, please. Excellent. So, this card here. Yeah. Do you like? Yes, a good save on that smudge. I'm very happy with that save on that smudge. 
Um, there we go. Excellent. So Jay's just going to now talk to you whilst I get those names inputted in. Yes, so didn't Barry do well? <laughs> Amazing job, Barry. So uh, yeah, so he um, he designed this this afternoon, and um, when I when I came in, I was like, oh, that's really nice. Um, and it's like, yeah, I'm going to do it this evening. It's like, okay, he should do. Uh, <laughs> but yes, if you would love to purchase any of the current Snapping Up products that you've uh, that Barry's demonstrated with this evening. Uh, do check out the description below for the link to our online shop. Uh, the blending brushes is available, as Barry has said, uh, from January in uh, for normal um, public. Uh, if you are a demonstrator, it'll be available in December. And so the winner for this card, uh, the, I'm afraid the battery-operated tea light won't be included, so you'll have to... Um, provide yourself with one or it actually looks quite it's nice quite, it's lovely on its own, own. yeah but um it's quite a nice um yeah it's okay so let's turn you around yes let's have a little look so just as a thing this is where you've been writing your comments in now which is where we're going to be taking it from at the bottom of the video in these comments is where you need to put another comment in to be in a chance of winning this card on wednesday okay so Fill another comment out at the moment. There's zero comments in there. But if you want to win it, pop a comment in after this video is live. Or you may even be able to try and do it now. I think you should be able to. Yes. Um, but yes. Yes, so, get your comments in. So there we go. There's your winner of the first one there. And the second winner is going to be... So for this card, good luck, everyone. Margo. Marco. I think this is Germany as yes. well, if I remember correctly. Germany, that's Margo. That one card is working its way over to you. Once you've emailed us. Once you've emailed <laughs> us. Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. And I think Krista has kindly put the link, the email address in there as well for you. Um, but yes. Yes, congratulations, Margo. Congratulations, Margo. Margo. That is working its way over to you. And don't forget to add your comment in the actual video or if you're watching the replay as well for this card. Excellent. Good, good. Cool. Superb. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you so um, much. Sorry about the mistakes and so on. But yes, it's all live, so you have to work with the mistakes. Yes. Good. Well done. Well, well, well job. done. <laughs> well, done. well done and well job. <laughs> well we're, 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 on, on Wednesday, we're not going to be organised. We're just going to start doing this half an hour beforehand, yes. and that's it. We're not doing. We're not going to be organised again. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us again. See you later. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye. Stay safe. Bye.